Hey there, Mark, the Beta Tech Skier, and coming to you from ISE 2025, standing here with David Missile from Sennheiser. How are you, mate? Doing very well, thank you. Good to see you. Now, David, we're here to talk about the the new DX range of microphones, right? Sennheiser EWDX, yep. Evolution Wireless. Really what I want to do is, is get some understanding of EWDX and, and Speechline and the delineation of where and where you, where you sure. will not use each other. And then we'll talk about the, the DX product line. Sure, right? so, yeah, we could have very long conversations about both. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so just for clarity, the Speechline series is decked, right? True, it's working on a decked wireless transmission technology in the 1.9 gigahertz range. Okay, and so differentiator there is that EWDX is... It's in the UHF range. So given that it's in uh, UHF range, we're operating so 470 meg up to 690 up to, or something like that. Yeah, up to, yeah exactly, depending yeah. on the country and the regulations. Yeah, yes, of course, yeah. of course. So that allows us to have a whole lot more bandwidth to be able to play with. Yeah, correct. Yeah, UHF is, is typically that, that six-lane highway of RF spectrum, right? Sure, yep. a, a very wide area where we can play with, uh, if usually find an open frequency within that area. Yep. Depending on the city, where you go, uh, but I think with the new EWDX technology, where we're able to get a lot of frequencies into a smaller spectrum, yep. we become very efficient, very efficient in, in doing that and being able to handle those large productions where you need a lot of channels, 80 channels, 100 channels in a wow. single space. And that's actually quite unique, the, the technology you guys have built at Sennheiser to get a lot of channels in a, in a small amount of yeah, right, you know, yeah. It, we've, we've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. You know, our yeah. first wireless system was 1957. Wow. That's, yeah, so okay. we've, been, we've been developing wireless technology for, for, for many years. <laughs> in, incredible. Yeah. And we really, really learned a lot with, with our early uh, multi-channel wireless systems that we use on Broadway. Yep. And, and we just continue to innovate in that way to yep. make sure that we're getting the, the, the best RF link possible, Yes. but also want to make sure we have the audio quality there as well. Because there's always yep. that compromise in, in how you're going to make it work sure. within that RF link. And I think yep. with this system, We've really taken the next level, not only in audio quality, but in RF efficiency and, and yeah. RF uh, signal to noise ratio from the transmitter to the receiver. Yeah, getting nice strong carrier in there and getting nice and clean. Yep. So we're talking about a use case of a space where you might have your 80, 100 microphones within a room. Sure. Correct? Yep. Yeah. So the difference being over here, you might have a room with two well, you can go higher than that, yeah. but when you look at the decked spec, yeah. right, of where we can play, and, and this is all regulated, yeah. um, it's a smaller spectrum that we can play with in the decked 1.9 gigahertz range. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. so we can't do 100, you know, 100 channels within that smaller range within the deck. Yeah. Um, but we can do one or two channels in a classroom and go across a campus with a speech line. Right. Because we can really take this system and decide how powerful we want that transmitter to be. Yeah. I can say, okay, I want to do Crank two, up, we'll two, frequency, two frequencies or two belt pack transmitters per classroom sure. in 100 classrooms. Yeah. Well, let's lower the output of that transmitter so it only covers that room, because that's all yeah. I need it for. Yeah, right. Then I can do another two channels in the next room and then scale that across the campus. Yeah. And and 1.9 is a great frequency to use because there's not a lot of uh, interference awesome up there. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. broadcast channels, anything like that. Yeah. So this is a great tool for scaling across a campus. Right. We need just one or two frequencies in, in, in that room. Yeah, excellent. Then I think about EWDX when I'm like, okay, I, I'm at a university. I got my speech line in the classrooms. But I also have a stage where I'm doing Broadway type of productions. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And I need maybe 60 channels in there because yeah. it's a big musical and so forth. So now I go from this to the EWDX yeah. where I have more frequency bandwidth to play with and I can actually get really efficient with the frequencies within uh, the EWDX. Right. That makes a lot of sense. And thanks for the clarity. So recently the, the, there's been some additions to the whole product line, right? Yeah, it's, you know, we first introduced uh, the EWD, which I'm not showing here, and then we came up with the EWDX, where we included Dante. 
right? So EWDX and Dante was really very helpful, a lot of people for networking and for, uh, again, scaling their wireless systems across the campus. Yeah. These are two channel receivers. Yes. So we become really much more efficient when you take a look at what kind of rack space you're dealing with. Yeah. So you've got four channels across here, but they're two, uh, uh, two channels per piece in the standard EWDX. Then we said, well, let's do a quad receiver where we have four channels yeah. in a one U. Super nice. Now the benefit is you have your, these two half racks that are two channel. I do need a splitter yep. if I'm going to use two or four of these. So I'm going to need an, a, a active splitter, have two remote antennas and yep. come into these. But with the four channel, it has a splitter built into it. Right. So I can bring in two remote antennas into yep. my first four channel Yep. EM4, yep. and I can go to additional receivers up to 16 channels. Oh, wow. And not have to worry about an external splitter. So it's a very efficient system yep. where it's, it's distributing RF to the receivers it's attached to. Yeah, so and if you've got multiple channels, this is really the, the product. It's really a, really a great way to go. It's very yes. unique. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then, uh, then you can add in you know, all of the other, well, the, the, the transmitters essentially, and we've got. Yep. Yeah, we have the, obviously, and, and the, the yeah, standard too. Yeah, the the, yeah, the, tr the standard transmitter, of course, the handheld with the, all the capsules that you'd exchange. Yeah. So everything that you're used to, the 835, 935, 865, 965. Yeah. We have so many capsules, and we're known for that. You know. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Really great sounding capsules. Yeah. And then you have the Bell Pack transmitter for headset mic. The MKE One, which is a very tiny lavalier mic that people use on Broadway. Yeah. But then we also have the EWDX TS or table stand microphone, uh, which is just a, a uh, table stand. You put it on the table and you put a gooseneck on it, and yep. then you have that for conferencing and things of that nature, or maybe a podium mic yeah. with a gooseneck mic coming up. Yeah. Okay. And that's a that's a three pin XLR. So literally, just pick it up, put it on the lectern. Yep. Put a lectern, put the gooseneck. And you're ready to go. It's a beautiful system, really. Are you doing a, a, a panel of four people on a table? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Instead of them having to hold a mic or doing a lavalier, you put these yeah. goosenecks in front of them. Fast to deploy as well. Yes, very yeah. fast. So what about what about managing all this, trying to, uh, across a campus or certainly across one space? What, what do you need to bring all this together? Yeah, so we have a couple different softwares. One of the softwares that you can use is Control Cockpit. Right. right. It's a free software that we offer and enables you to monitor these receivers very easily, make changes if you need to, do yep. firmware updates with it as well. Yes. We also have another uh, software called WSM. Yep. And that allows you to do frequency coordination, right? right? Because you do want to do some frequency coordination. Yep. But when you think about the EWDX technology, we make frequency coordination a lot easier now. Yeah. Because we do not create any inner modulation between our transmitters, yeah. none at all. And that's very difficult to do, but we uh, did figure out how to do it. Yes. We built in very high linearity in our transmitters and have really great filtering so that with the two transmitters, inner modulation is when two transmitters, over, uh, the RF of those two transmitters start to overpower each other when they come in close proximity. Sure, yeah, and yeah. They actually create new frequencies yeah. that can land on other frequencies that you're using. Yeah, yeah. We've eliminated that. The RF engineer is not there. Yeah, it is a, yeah. It's a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's all kinds of wireless coordination tools that yes. can be used to do the math to figure out what those artifacts are yeah. that are created. Yeah. You don't need that now with EWDX because yeah. we're not creating any intermod if you have 10 channels, 20 channels, 40 channels, 50 channels, all you're doing is have those 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 discrete carrier frequencies without anything else being uh, creating intermodulation. Right. So it makes your frequency coordination a lot easier yes. when you're trying to do a lot of frequencies in one space. Very nice. You've just, just solved the problem for every hour of engineer, right? Oh, it's, 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 it's fantastic. The only thing you got to worry about is somebody else's equipment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that is, is the that is creating intermodulation. Yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah. have a frequency that's going to yeah. land on ours. Lot, lot to be said for just deploying this across. So let's keep wherever. it all sent out. Keep, yeah. keep it all sent <laughs> But if uh, if people want to know more, where can they go to find out? Our website. Yeah, uh, it's a great place to go and, and learn more about the EWDX uh, digital wireless systems. Also, excellent, Gonya. Uh, so yeah, come down to ISE 2025. Have a chat to David, and uh, he can give you the full rundown of EWDX. Thanks, David. Thanks so, thanks so much. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it.